This novel, the germ of which first appears in one of my father's notebooks in the 1950s, was published in 1979, 12 years after his previous full-length novel. It went through many drafts, it changed shape, changed characters, changed names, and slowly and with difficulty moved towards its final magnificent form. The novel opens with a passage my mother considered one of the very best my father had ever written. During the Blitz, a maimed child walks out of a fire storm, watched by a band of firefighters who actually hesitate to rescue him because they simply cannot believe what they're seeing. This is only the first of a series of incredible happenings described in the book. Many of the events are all too believable, however, centering as they do on terrorism, on the sexual exploitation of children, and on the inability of human beings to stop tormenting each other. A great book, in my view, and shot through with a characteristic golden comedy, like sharp sunlight after thunder and lightning.